For this video, I'm going to show you guys how and why you use line types and line weights. So this right here is the thin lines option. And if we zoom in, we can see that everything's pretty thin and easy to read. If we switch that, it gets bold on the outside. And although that looks nicer, sometimes when you're placing objects or trying to create things, it's tricky to tell where exactly you are relative to the line. So I usually keep those on thin until I'm ready to, to publish. So if you go up to the Manage tab, and then you go to Additional Settings, there is a Line Styles and Line Weights option. So if you go to Line Styles, and this little plus shows all of the default things that come standard into Revit. You can make wide lines, thin lines, hidden lines. And so one thing that I like to do sometimes for projects, if I have elevation views, is I will do New. Uh, and I usually name them just after the width. So I'd put one, new, two, and I usually go all the way to five. But you can create as many as you you would like. Your projection is the thickness of how it how thick it shows up on the page. So I usually switch that to match the number properties. And then depending on how you want it to look, you can change the line color, the solid fill, um, and edit that to however you like. So if you hit OK, if you feel like you have all the line types that you like, and you can always go back and change those. So on an elevation view, let's say this is our house, um, if you're submitting this to a client, you would want them to have a little more depth to make it a little bit more clear. So the things that are closest to the viewer, for example, these eaves on the roof design, if you hit your detail line, the shortcut for that is DL, up here in your line style, you can switch that and you can put it to one of the new created ones. So five is the thickest, which represents the closest. And so then as you, if you click the select line, at first it looks like nothing is happening. Um, and that's because our lines are turned off to thin. And once we turn that back on, we can tell that our line thicknesses are coming back on. And then as you move slightly farther away, I would switch to three or four, and I would do these exterior walls. I usually put the floor as a heavier line so you can tell the bottom of the building. And so that's how you do line types. And the benefit of that is really just showing depth and making your elevation views uh, look a lot more defined and a lot more professional.